The burn scar from the Smokehouse Creek fire is evident, charred land as far as the eye can see. And from space, satellite imagery shows that same scar, the size of the state of Delaware, within it, lives forever changed. My house was not savable. Um, others in my neighborhood were. Stinnett, Texas volunteer firefighter Charles Clark can now call himself a fire victim. Lost everything. Um, a cat that was actually a rescue from here. Um, he was actually a dumpster cat that we, the department rescued and he became my cat. Um, wasn't able to get him out of the house, wasn't able to get anything out of the house. Charles and his fellow volunteer firefighters were fighting the fire at his home when the harsh reality became apparent. Wasn't a very easy decision to make, but there were people's houses and property that could be saved. Mine could not. The fire that took Charles's home and his beloved adopted cat Tigger was just one of several that have burned across the Texas panhandle. We've had multiple ranches throughout the area that have lost 100% to 80% of their grass. A vital food source for this region's big business, cattle. We have livestock that are burnt. Uh, we have livestock that didn't make it, and we have livestock that are still okay that we got to take care of. Hay donations are being brought in to supplement the loss and keep cattle fed in this barren landscape so the industry doesn't come to a standstill. Back in Stinnett, which now holds the dubious distinction of being the origin point for the 1.1 million acre Smokehouse Creek fire, the community is healing together. We're, we're thriving, we're surviving, and we're going to rebuild and make this better. Kind of adopted a little, little saying the last couple of days is it's, it's not like a community helping a community, it's family helping family. In Stinnett, Texas, Justin Michaels, The Weather Channel.